Welcome to the Country Video Hall of Fame, featuring the Texas Troubadour, Ernest Tubbs. The Country Video Hall of Fame is a 1991 copyright of Ganaway Productions Incorporated, not associated with WSME, the Grand Old Opry, or Opryland USA. You will see such legendary stars as George Morgan, Rod Brasfield, and the one and only Marty Robbins. Now, from the 35mm Eastman Kodak Film Library, produced and directed by Al Ganaway, the Country Video Hall of Fame is about to begin. On this volume, Ernest Tubbs, the old Hickory Singers, Grandpa Jones and Ramona, Webb Pierce and Billy Bird, the North Carolina Cloggers, Minnie Pearl and Rod Brasfield, Marty Robbins, Johnny and Jack and Cully Holt, Benny Martin, Aaron Young, and the Carter family. Talking to you from Nashville, Tennessee, the home of the Grand Ole Opry, the greatest country music show in the world. You'll enjoy Grand Ole Opry stars like Ernest Tubb, Webb Pierce, Jimmy Dickens, Rod Brashfield, Minnie Pearl, and yours truly, Carl Smith, and a host of others. But right now, here is Ernest Tubb. up to Glassy Show and turn the jukebox low and let me sit and reminisce while I pretend that she is sitting here with me the way she did not long ago. We used to paint the town red and dance until two. I don't paint it red no more, but I'm painting it blue. He stole her love, I know, but he can't stop me, Joe, from having just a dream or two. Oh, Billy Bird. There's a memory in the room A memory that walks A memory that talks And haunts me everywhere I go I'm just a fool who loves her And will till I die From the very first hello Till the last goodbye And this is it, you know so fill two glasses, Joe, then leave me here alone to cry. Thank you. Thank you just a lot, neighbors, and a great big welcome to our grand old Opry show. Yes, sir, right now, neighbors, I want you to meet a group of fellows you've been hearing for many years on our grand old Opry radio show. They're a very wonderful quartet I'm sure you're going to enjoy. So how about a great big welcome for the old Hickory Singers. Without you, oh, you 
Singers and oh, you beautiful doll. Well, uh, by the way, this next young fellow we have coming out here may not be so beautiful. Come to think of it, he may not be so young either. But he's a great entertainer, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy him just a whole lot. So, how about a great big rousing welcome for Grandpa Jones? Hey! Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, Ernie, to, to look at him, you wouldn't think he is one of the finest English students in the country, but. I used to live down where he is at, and his teacher was so proud of him that every time that, that, uh, that somebody would come in to, 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 to visit the school, why, he, they'd get his class up in front of the little school and start asking them questions. Well, I went over there one day, and I sat down in the back of the school there, and, of course, the teacher got his class up right away and started asking them English questions. Come to Ernest, said, Ernest, get up there and tell us the difference between prose and poetry. Well... Ernest didn't know, and it sort of embarrassed the teacher. And she says, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll write some, on the board, I'll write some prose, and then I'll write some poetry. So she wrote, there was an old woman who lived on a hill, and last week she moved to town. She says, that's prose, because it doesn't rhyme. And then she wrote, there was an old woman who lived on a hill, and if she's not dead, she's living there still. She says, that's poetry, because it does rhyme. Ernest says, I understand that all right. So the next morning, she thought she'd catch him on it. She says, Ernest, get up there and tell us the difference between prose and poetry this morning. Ernest jumped up and he said, there was an old woman that lived by the well, and when she died, she went to what do you want, prose or poetry? <laughs> young fellow that will do, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy him just a whole lot. He doesn't need an introduction of any kind, so let's make him welcome right now by saying, here he is, Webb Pierce. Good night, man. You're not mine anymore, but I'm still pretty far. Just enough from you to say you changed your mind. Now, I know you say And it's my fault that you're not mine anymore. If you don't ever change your mind to take me back again, I hope you meet someone that's true and 
fall in love with him. Right now, I think we ought to have a little square dancing, so let's all join our grand old office square dancing. Come on, Jake, let's get it. tell you, that tires me out just watching you guys and gals back there. Neighbors, right now, I'd like to try to sing a little love song for you. I hope you kind of like called Letters Have No Arms. I just got your letter, dear sweetheart. And darling, I miss you. Your letter has cheered me, but I'm lonesome, lonesome just to feel your love and touch. Letters have no arms here to hold me. Kisses on paper are so cold. These sweet things.
And you know that letters have no eyes. Thank you. Oh. Right now, how about a special welcome for one of my favorite singers, the Candy Kid, George Morgan. Hey. George Morgan, mighty fine, son. Well, to neighbors, right now we have a couple of my favorite funny people, Cousin Minnie Pearl and Rob Brassfield. Right now, though, first, here she is, Cousin Minnie Pearl. Hey.
in a box and the boys yeah. bet out. You know, yeah, they get their boxes right. yeah, and they eat them together. Yeah. Oh, I've got some wonderful food already. I'm going to have apple slip over. Yeah? Uh, slip over. Yeah. <laughs> Now, wait a minute, Minnie. You mean turnovers, <laughs> not slipovers. No, they're apple slipovers. You see, the apples was next door, and Brother had to slip over and get them. <laughs> that makes me so mad I couldn't eat one. <laughs> Rodney, I tell you, though, that Brother of mine is a smart boy. He is? That runs in our family. Yeah. Like uh, buck teeth, and uh, you know we can all buy the pumpkin through a railing fence. Rodney, listen. Uh, you know what brother, what brother has did recently? What has brother do? <laughs> <laughs> he has, he has. I want you to come go down there and look at what, what he's got down there. What he got? He has crossed a goat with an owl. You know what he got? Great gobs of goose eggs. What did he get? <laughs> what did he get? <laughs> he crossed the owl with a goat and got a hoop nanny. Hoop <laughs> 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 nanny. <laughs> now here is Marty Robbins. <laughs> I look down at her, I say, what can we do? She say, let's go someplace where we can bop to the blues. Why, well, I said, I didn't know a place where we could do such a thing. She said, I know that place. Man, it's just a street. It's just a little spot on the outside of town where we can really pick them up and put them down to the hole we went. <laughs> yeah, we were gone, 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 gone. Tell you more about it in the very next person song. legs and a little bit of body but the cat was gone yeah he was gone 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 tell you more about it in the very next verse of a song Watching her, she threw me out the door when we were gone. Yeah, we were gone, 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 gone. Tell you more about it in the very next verse of a song. Well, I didn't know that Toddy had a man of her own, made out of nothing but a muscle and bone. I know I'd rather have a baby instead, but that big eight put knots on my head, so I'd left it. Yeah, I was gone, 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 gone. Well, there ain't no more. This is the end of my song. Well, so right now, neighbors, to keep the show rolling along, we'd like to introduce some friends of mine and friends of yours. A couple of fellows that you've been listening to for a long time on records and our Grand Ole Opry Radio. So let's make them welcome right now the Tennessee Mountain Boys and Johnny and Jack. Baby mine, oh, baby mine, oh, baby mine. I get so lonely when I dream about you. Can't do without you. That's why I dream about you. If I could only put my arms about you, life would be so fair. If you were there, we two could hug and kiss and never tire. Wow. 
about you. That's why I dream about you. If I could only put my arms around you, life would be so There, Johnny and Jack and all the Tennessee Mountain Boys, and that was Cully Holt doing the bass singing there. Neighbors, right now, we'd like to introduce a young fellow to you that just recently returned from Uncle Sam's service. We're mighty proud to have him back, and we're proud to have him on the show right now. Let's make him welcome right now, a young man by the name of Farron Young. Farron Young. <laughs> Another's misdeed. The guilty go free, but the heart of the innocent free. You brag that you cheat, or I'd never believe it was so. And if that's the fashion, then leave me to sorrow and go. cycle of life changes too and if that's the fashion it's the kind of love I never Thank you a lot there, Fair and Young, if that's the fashion, a mighty pretty song, son. Neighbors, it certainly has been a lot of fun visiting with you, and we hope you have enjoyed our show just a little bit. Before we say goodbye, though, I'm going to ask all the Grand Ole Opry gang to come back out here and help me do an old-timer called the Crawl to Head song. You get a line, I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line, I'll get a pole, babe. You get a line, I'll get a pole. We'll go down that crawl that hole. Honey, baby, mine. Minnie. Here comes a man across the field, honey. Here comes a man across the field, baby. Here comes a man across the field, like kicking up a dust like an automobile. <laughs> honey, baby, mine. Order a family now. Here comes a man with a bag on his back, honey. Well, he fell down and broke his back. You ought to see the crawl that's back and back. Honey, baby, mine. Johnny and Jack, now. 
Country Video Hall of Fame is a 1991 copyright of Ganaway Productions Incorporated All Rights Reserved, not associated with WSM Inc., the Grand Old Opry or Opryland USA Inc. <laughs>